MBA 633 instructional video prepared by Professor Amit Tata, School of Management, George Mason University. Uh, this is our third segment on the topic of simple linear regression and here we will actually use Excel to uh, carry out uh, the simple linear regression and we will apply the conceptual building blocks developed in the prior video to try and interpret the output from the Excel um, computations. So same example as the last uh, clip, we have uh, a set, a data set consisting of uh, data on, on, on 20 houses. So we have a sample of 20 houses and for each house we have the square footage of the house and the price. The dependent variable is price and the independent variable is square footage. We're trying to fit a, a straight line uh, through, this, through these data points. Uh, <clears throat> so we are uh, assuming a linear relationship between uh, price and square footage. So let's see how one would go about using Excel <clears throat> to fit, uh, uh, to carry out a simple linear regression and then we'll interpret the output. So from the menu bar we choose uh, data <clears throat> and from there data analysis from the, uh, the options that show up we pick regression Excel has the same option for multiple and linear regression and uh, you will see why that's the case. So we pick regression <clears throat> and now we have uh, a bunch of uh, inputs that we have to provide in this dialog box. So the first input that we provide is where is the uh, dependent variable, the input Y range. So here is my uh, dependent variable. Notice I've included not just the numbers but also the label. And now, since we are doing a simple linear regression, we have only one independent variable. That's the input X range. The X range is the um, independent variable. And if you were doing multiple regression, then there would be more than one of these X's. In this case, there's only one. So I'll highlight square footage. This is the independent variable. <coughs> and notice that I've checked the box, which says that there are labels in the first uh, box. And now this little box which says confidence level, I'd like for you to check that off initially. Anytime you see confidence level based on prior studies that we've done on inference, it should suggest to you that some kind of inferencing is being done. And it's not uh, <clears throat> hard to see what that is. If you remember from the previous uh, video clip, we had said that when we are using a data set to do simple linear regression, we are really using sample data to estimate the slope and the intercept of a line which we think reasonably accurately represents the true straight line relationship between square footage and price. So any com computation that we do here in terms of simple linear regression is uh, <clears throat> will produce sample um, statistics which is an, a proxy for population parameters. So there's some kind of inferencing going on here and hopefully once the output shows up we'll be able to explain that a little better. But this choice, this, this confidence interval box here should suggest to you that there's some kind of inferencing uh, in the works here. And uh, if you recall, two common levels of confidence are 95 and 99%. The default in Excel is 95. And I will, you can put your output anywhere. In this case, I will put my output starting from cell D2. And there are a lot of other boxes over here that we haven't checked off. These are for diagnostics and we will gradually get to them in later video clips, okay? For now, we'll keep it simple and we click OK. So here's the uh, regression output. <clears throat> Lots of numbers here, okay? Now, out of all these numbers, only these two under the co column called coefficients uh, tells you the regression equation. So going back to our concepts, uh, <clears throat> remember that whenever we use a data set, in this case, in this case, data on 20 houses, these are the dots that you see over here, and Excel fitted a straight line through them. So the two parameters that we got, this 22,635, that's the intercept, and 58.959, that's the slope. So 22,635 is B0, and 58.959 is B1 as per our uh, uh, concepts that were introduced earlier. So Excel just computed B0 and B1, okay? So that's the fitted estimated equation, all right? So notice that if we had 
a slightly different set of 20 houses, another 20 houses, and I fitted a straight line through them, I would get slightly different intercepts and slopes. So B0 and B1 are sample statistics. They are random variables. They are sample statistics. They are simply our best estimate of beta 0 and beta 1. We would really be like to get beta 0 and beta 1, but we are unable to do so unless and until we look at the whole population. Okay, so <clears throat> Excel gives us, so this is the equation of the, the, the fitted line. So we would say price. So um, this is the fitted line y hat is equal to 22,635. I'll leave out the decimal points just to simplify typing plus 58.9595 times x which is square footage so if somebody tells you I have a 4,000 square foot house you would say I expect the price to be the intercept plus you have a 4,000 square foot house, you said, times B1. Okay, so I would expect the price of the house to be 258,474. Notice that this is expected price. Okay, so expected price. I know that the actual price will probably be different. So the, that's where the error term came in. If you recall the equation that we were tried to fit uh, for the population was y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus epsilon okay so if I have a 4,000 square foot house if you look at the equation over here I would say that I would expect the price of the house to be intercept plus x times the slope which is turns out to be in this case 258,474 now uh, the, all the rest of the output over here, everything other than these two coefficients are geared to tell you how good this sample statistic is. That is, this estimate of 22,635 and 58.959, these are simply my sample statistics. Those are proxies for the population parameter beta 0 and beta 1. So since I cannot get beta 0 and beta 1, I've got B0 and B1 instead. And all the other output that you see in Excel, all this stuff, all these numbers here are simply intended to give you an idea of the quality of the inferencing, that is how good this fitted line is. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> in the next uh, video clip, we will uh, sort of parse uh, these numbers piece by piece and we will look at this segment of the output uh, first where it says regression statistics and ANOVA output. We'll look at that first, and once that is done, then in a following video clip, we will interpret the numbers in the bottom uh, segment of the regression output. Okay?